Would you like to learn how to frost? No, that's the frosted glass. Frost the glass using the spray fro frost stuff. Today on Garden Fork, I'm gonna show you. Ready? Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden Fork. How you doing? I just, um, I just hung a door, which is pretty amazing, uh, knowing my kind of mediocre carpentry skills. But I really like reusing old doors in new projects. This is actually a wall that I put in, and um, we needed a door for it. And I thought, well, I hate buying new doors. I love old doors because, one, they're already finished. This one has a neat kind of crackle of the shellac is all kind of like crinkly, and I like how that looks. But this is for uh, a guest room, and this is glass. And I was like, okay, I like the idea of light being able to shine through to that hallway um, and still, you know, have privacy in the bedroom. And I was like, well, we'll just frost the glass like we've done before. We've uh, frosted glass a couple different times in my kitchen cabinets and also um, in these sliding pocket doors here. Also, we did that and we have two videos about that. I'll link to those at the end of the show and in the text below the video but today I wanted to show you just kind of to give you an idea while you drink your tea um, of what you can do with recycled doors I mean my neighbors had this in their basement I didn't go to you can go to salvage yards and buy them but maybe your neighbor has a door in the basement you know and this it just ended up I didn't have to trim it I built a frame around it I am really a mediocre door hanger carpenter guy but it closes that's in the plus column isn't it so all right, let me show you how I do this. It's easy, because if I can do it, you can do it. Ready? It's my helper. So when you're going to frost the door, we're gonna spray this one in place. We're not gonna take the glass out. In the kitchen cabinet one, we took the glass out. But I, what I'm thinking about is what side of the glass, what side of the door to spray with the frosting spray. And this door is usually going to stay open. And the frosting spray, if you, get caught on it with a fingernail or something, it will scratch. So my thought here is this door is, I'm going to do um, the inside of the door, I'll spray the frosting on this because the door is usually gonna be open 99% of the time unless we have guests at night and they're gonna close the door. So let's get started. Did that make sense that I'm gonna spray the, uh, this side of the door? I hope so. Uh, make sure you clean it with glass cleaner really well. If there's a little bit of, and this one there's some uh, old varnish or maybe it's polyurethane that's stuck in here. You could clean that off with a uh, window scraper, the kind, the razor blade holder kind. So clean that up, okay? Less is better a lot of times with window cleaner, okay? And I always start at the bottom because the window cleaner is running downhill and I work my way up. Is that crazy? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about how to clean windows in the comments below. This also has to be completely dry before we put the spray on, okay? These are the uh, sliding pocket doors that I frosted with the film. And you need to think about, um, the film is much more resilient. I mean, I can run my finger on that, it's no big deal. It is, but it's more work to put on and the window glass has to be absolutely clean. If there's any polyurethane or stain on it, the film, the frosting film will pull up. But this is more bulletproof than the spray on stuff. But the spray on stuff is a lot easier and faster. Do not cheap out on the tape by good blue plate. You know what I mean, the blue painting tape, okay? Buy the good stuff. So depending on how good you are with your spray gun, uh, you should probably put on more tape than I do, okay? So to mask the edge of all this, I just use a piece of cardboard. I, you can really do whatever you want. Um, whatever makes you happy in life, you know. But shake this up really well. I will link with the product that I like to use uh, in the notes below the video in the text. But be sure that this uh, thing is lined up correctly. Shake, shake, shake. Kind of like the... Casey and the Sunshine Band song, remember that? Okay, less is more. You can always add more frosting. Light coat. 
right? By the way, this is really gonna smell. Open the windows and put a fan in there, okay? Okay, when you first spray this on, you're gonna be like, it's not doing anything. It is, you gotta let it dry. For the full effect, you gotta wait about 10 minutes. Um, let me see if I can show you. Well, it's starting to frost. Um, and after that, we can always spray more. I'm a big fan of if all else fails, read directions. But this is one of those where you need to read the instructions on the can before you start, okay? Learn from me. And a real high quality vapor mask. I'll link below, below the video in the text, the one that I get. I think it's called an organic vapor mask. Makes a huge difference. You don't get that headache thing unless you really want that, but I don't think you do. These are great. They last a long time. The cheap paper ones don't work. Don't buy them. Get what you pay for. Save your head, you save your brain. This is dry now, but it's not what I want it to be. I want it to be thicker than that. I want it to be more frosted. So I'm gonna give it another coat, okay? Well, and then this will sit like that. That'll be a beautiful thing. 